Hi, I'm Ashan, and welcome back to Salesforce Sessions. In this episode, we're going to review two important parts of the Salesforce field service tool, work rules and service objectives. These two combine to create the guidelines for what is known as a scheduling policy within Salesforce. Work rules are restrictions on which service technicians can work on a specific appointment depending on the what, when, and where factors of that appointment. Some examples of work rules may include that service technicians can only work on a job that is 30 miles from their home, or additionally, service technicians must be an expert level at a skill for the system to sign them to a job requiring that skill. In a high intensity situation, like after storm outages, companies may want to limit the number of restrictions, like who can work on a job, but still needs to consider some mandatory constraints. Service objectives in field service fall under the following categories. The first is ASAP, which is getting the job done as soon as possible. Next is minimizing overtime. Additionally, minimizing travel. Fourth one is preferred resource. Fifth being resource priority. And finally, the skill level. By considering both work rules and service objectives, field service will create a scheduling policy that will allow the company to optimize the delivery of service. I hope you found this overview useful. For more details, check out our blog. See you next time.